Welcome to Hurdler Pro. Hurdler Pro is our most advanced service. It includes all of your premium features while adding powerful invoicing and payment collection, advanced accounting and reporting, home office deduction tracking, the ability to invite your accountant, and more. As a bonus, you'll also have your annual tax fine included with your Pro subscription. Instead of having to spend well over $100 on a separate tax filing software, you'll have all of your business finance and tax filing needs in one place. Hurdler Pro is a great tool for entrepreneurs looking to take their business to the next level. Whether you're an LLC, S-Corp, have multiple businesses, or view yourself as a true business owner, Pro includes all the features you need to have the clearest picture of your business finances in one streamlined tool. To start your free trial of Hurdler Pro, simply click on one of the Pro features, then follow the prompts. If you have an existing premium subscription, the purchase of your Pro subscription will be prorated to account for the remaining balance of your premium subscription. With Herdler Pro, you can send your clients invoices directly through the app. You can customize your invoice settings to define your default expense markups, hourly rates, and invoicing terms, as well as adding your business logo and brand colors. Once you've configured your invoice settings, creating a new invoice is as simple as clicking New Invoice. You can then pick the business, select your client, then add items to the invoice. If you've used Hurdler to track your time, you can select time and task entries from the app. You can use Hurdler to track your time you spend on certain activities for your clients. For example, a freelance web designer could track the time they spend creating their client's new website. Once you've added a time and task entry, you can add it to the invoice and your client will be charged the hourly rate for the activity you've indicated. If you haven't used this feature, you can add your own custom line items for billing your time. If you've used Hurdler to automatically track your expenses by linking your bank account, credit card, or importing transactions, you can attach any of these expenses to your invoice. You can also bill your clients for any expenses that you incurred on their behalf. Clicking this option will list any expenses that you've already tagged as business and to the specific client. If you need to attach a receipt or a document to your invoice, simply click on Attach File. Once you've entered all of the line items you're billing, you can choose the date of the invoice, the terms, the frequency if the invoice is recurring, and whether you'll apply any discounts. Click Next to see an overview of the invoice you've created, complete with your logo and brand colors. If you aren't ready to send the invoice just yet, click Save Final Without Sending or Save as Draft to save as a draft to send later. When you're ready to send your invoice, just select which payment option to accept. You can accept cash or check, or you can set up your account to accept credit card payments directly through the invoice. Credit card payments are processed via Stripe, and you can set up an account with them through your Hurdler account. After selecting which payment option to accept, you can send your invoice. If your client pays via credit card, Hurdler will automatically mark the invoice as paid and notify you. Once your client pays you, there are a few different ways that you can apply their payment to the invoice to reconcile any transactions or payment for the invoice that are listed in the income section. If you're paid by credit card or check and you have your bank account linked to Hurdler, then you can assign the bank's deposit transaction to your invoice. Doing this will ensure that your accounts are reconciled and balanced correctly. You can also assign an income transaction to an invoice directly to mark it as paid. Click on the advanced feature within the income transaction itself, then pick which invoice to assign it to. If they paid cash, you can add a cash payment. Once you've added a payment to your invoice, you can see an overview of the different types of invoices. Clicking on type allows you to view your invoices by category, such as paid, unpaid, active, draft, refunded, or archived. Now that you're familiar with invoicing, let's check out the accounting features, starting with your chart of accounts. Your chart of accounts shows you an overview of the different accounts of your business finances. As you tag your income and expense transactions, the amounts in your chart of accounts will change depending on how you categorize these transactions. You can think of this as a real-time balance sheet. Let's see an example. Let's say you want to mark furniture that you purchased for your office as a fixed asset. To do this, click the expense to expand it. Then choose your business and click Advanced. 
Now that you're looking at the pro options, you can pick asset from the list of expense types. You can also choose which expense category it falls into, such as furniture and equipment. Once you've selected this option, just click save. When you go back to your chart of accounts, you'll see it reflects your updated information. Anytime you make a change in your pro account, it will be recorded in your general ledger. If you're familiar with double entry accounting, then you will feel right at home looking at your general ledger. The default view will start from January, but you can click the date field at the top to see your most recent changes. While any transaction you track in the income and expense section will be reflected in the general ledger automatically, you can also add manual entries as needed. To do this, click add entry. In addition to classifying transactions into advanced categories, Pro also offers an advanced search option. This can help you search for transactions by type, date, amount, notes you've entered, and more. Another cool feature with Pro is the ability to use the basic home office deduction. It's easy to set your home office deduction. Just go to your tax profile and enter the square footage of your home office and Herthler will automatically calculate the deduction. Remember, the IRS dictates that this deduction cannot exceed $1,500 or 300 square feet. Once you've entered your home office deduction, go to the taxes section to see how this is used in your tax calculations. There are also advanced reports that you get with Pro. You can export reports like business mileage or business expenses by client, plus more advanced accounting reports like a balance sheet report or a trial balance sheet report. Herdler Pro also includes annual tax filing for federal in one state. Given that many tax filing softwares charge $100 or more for tax filing services alone, it's a great benefit to have this included with your Pro subscription. When you're ready to file your taxes, just click the File My Taxes button to start your return. If you have a bookkeeper or CPA who does your taxes for you, Pro's Invite Your Accountant feature will allow you to provide them with their own login so they can access your account whenever they need to. Thanks for watching our Herdler Pro tutorial. If you have any additional questions, you can message us via in-app chat by clicking the question mark next to your name.